understand about how to use and how to clean it. Using a cloth pad is pretty much similar to a disposable pad. You put pad or panty liner inside your panty, buckle it using a press button on the other side and you are done. When it needs to be changed, simply remove the pad and use another one. While washing these pads, there are some things which are very important to remember. And these are important as well when you are using a cotton cloth as well during your periods. The first thing is when you remove a soiled cloth pad or a cotton cloth after use, you have to put it in a cold water or normal water for 20 minutes soaking it so that all the blood which is soaked up by that cloth pad or the cotton cloth will come out and will remain in the water and then it will be easy for you to wash the cloth pad because all the blood has already come out. The second thing to remember is to dry these cloth pads in the direct sunlight so that they get disinfected. Sunlight or sun rays are the best disinfectant for these cloth pads. What I do with my cloth pads is I soak them into the water and I just keep stacking up them into one bucket till my till two three days and uh, I change the water every one or two times in a day. Just before washing the cloth pads I rub the cloth pads and try to get it cleaned completely and then toss them into the washing machine. Once that is done I dry them into the sunlight or in the balcony to get those disinfected. Washing and drying cloth pads in the balcony will make you realize the some taboo that is inside your head which has come maybe from the childhood, I don't know. I felt that in the starting. I used to think that what will, what will happen if people see, how will they feel, how, how does it feel that people are seeing my cloth pads and later I realized what will happen, what worst can happen. People will see and think that I am on my periods. Okay. People may think that what kind of lady is this and they might feel comfortable, uncomfortable looking at those cloth pads. Or the worst thing that can happen is kids might see and ask what is that and elders will not have an answer. That's all right. That's okay. Let us all march towards making periods as a normal and usual process that occurs to women. Let us remove this stigma and this taboo from our own head so that we don't pass it on to next generations and they will be free of all these kind of thoughts. Here is the request that my friend Rashmi has on disposable of on ordinary sanitary pads if you are using one. What haunts me more about these non-biodegradable pads is that they end up in the uh, drain blockages or end up in the incinerators, right? So, I mean, uh, and moreover, being non-biodegradable, it just ends up in the landfill. There's nowhere to go. However, if you are still using, you know, these, uh, right? So, try to, try to, you know, uh, take a uh, plain paper or a newspaper that you want to wrap the soiled pad, cover it, and put a red cross and then dump it in the reject waste. Now let's talk about some cloth pad brands that I know of. The first one is Ecofeme. This is based out of Auroville Ashram in Pondicherry. I am using their pads from last 3 years and did not face much of a problem. These pure cotton pads do not have any liner material present on the outer side. So these are not stain free basically. I use two kinds of pads from them. These are thin ones which I use during low flow days along with the menstrual cup. You can use them as a panty liner as well. You know, just to prevent any leaks just in case. The other ones that I have are these thick ones. Mainly during the night along with the menstrual cup of course. In case the cup get filled in the middle of night during a heavy flow which is often the case I need not get up these are really easy on skin the material does not feel rash and no problem with rubbing and all only once the pad gets moderately wet I start getting the wet feeling 
even though the pad has still more capacity also these thick pads do take time to dry so you should have enough with you during your periods the next one is stone soup pad i have started using one stone soup pad recently and this has also been a really easy one to use it is stain free which means it has a leak proof coating embedded inside it also it does not feel wet until it's full that's a plus point it feels better when the pad is dry against the skin again soft on skin rash free easy to use one point i feel is the wing size is a little bigger for me so grip is a little loose hence the pad ends up moving a little which i do not like everyone size is different though so you can try still the next ones that are going to talk about i do not have any experience using these but are recommended by some known menstrual pad users this one is bhumi by bompadam many people are using it and are happy with its use as well the next one is my avni pads the material mentioned here is from organic cotton but it it is looks and feels something like a towel or it's softer when compared to the cotton these pads i have heard dry quickly which is another good thing the last one is things underwear these are not available in india but are available in us i have seen people being in love with this in on the internet as well as i have heard from some people who bought it from us and are happily using it for years so if you go to us by any chance you can buy these there and you won't regret that's all for this video till next time bye bye